Hey guys, it's Mac Kids and One with Java Lesson 3. In this Java lesson, we're going to be making an application that multiplies two numbers. So what it will do, it'll ask you to enter the first number, the second number, and then it'll tell you what the result of both of them multiplied together is. This application includes a few things that we haven't done. First one is turning strings into ints and the second one is printing out numbers. Now that's pretty straightforward. So let's just get started. I'm going to open up my Xcode. Now I'll make a new project, Java, Java tool. I'll call it iAd. Now it's not actually adding, so it's a crappy name, but whatever. So now we're going to import a few extra things. First, going to import Java dot IO dot input stream reader. We're going to import Java dot IO dot buffered reader. We're going to and we're going to import Java dot IO dot IO exception. In the actual code. I'm going to say buffered reader and I'm gonna do a cut while I type this code this is just the standard code to that we have to do to read console input okay so here's the code just buffered reader console in etc now I'll say and this is interesting I'm gonna say string num1 equals quote quote string num2 equals quote quote and the reason I'm doing this is that when you use a try catch any variables you declare inside of a try catch will go away once the try catch is over. So if I declare them out here, then if I do a try catch and use them, then they won't be gone afterward. So I'm going to do a try and I'll just put out my catch right here. And this is where we're going to read input from the console. It's so right here. I'm going to do system out print enter int1 and then I'll say num1 equals console in dot read line then I'm going to system dot out dot print enter int2 now I'm going to say num2 equals console in dot read line And now right here I'm catching it and when if there's an error, I'm just gonna print that there was an error. And another thing I'm gonna show you is how to exit. To exit your program, you just do system.exit left parenthesis, then a number. Normally that's an error code. I like to do negative one. You can do zero as well. But I like to use negative one. So there's that. Now under here, we're going to make int i1 equals 0, int i2 equals 0. And int i1 is going to be the number value of num1, same with i2. So we need to use another try catch for this. And in here, Say i1 equals integer dot parse int left parenthesis and then the string I'm going to do num1 right parenthesis and then we'll do the same for i2. There you go. And if there's an error here, that there's going to be more normally an error if they didn't enter a number into these strings. So we're going to say, enter a number next time. And now I'm going to do system.exit negative 1. There we go. Now I'm going to under here, I'm going to say int i3 equals i1 times i2. And I may have showed you in Java Lesson 1 that this is how you multiply ints. And now I'm going to get rid of this and replace it with my little thing that's printing out the answer. 
I'm going to say num1, and we can do i1, in fact, times i2 equals i3. So it's going to print the value of i1, a star, or a space, a star, and then a space. The value of i2, a space, and equals, and then a space, and then the value of i3, which is equal to i1 times i2. So, this program will multiply two inputs. So when we run it, go into the console, enter int 1. So right here, if I write 1, and then if I write 2, it won't work because these are text. But if I write, say, 99, 99, it'll say 99 times 99 equals 9,801, which is the correct answer. So this is our little multiply, multiplication program that we've written. Next time, we will write one that you can either type multiply, divide, subtract, or add. So this is how to parse ints. Um, so I hope you learned just a little something from this Java lesson. Anyway, I hope you could read everything I was doing. If you couldn't, please tell me. And if you have any questions, tell me as well, because I'm, I'm here to help. I'm willing to help you. So anyway, thanks for watching, Mac Kids on a One. Subscribe and goodbye.